Hi guys, welcome back to another video and another update on my Low Boost Clear 172 Cup. Today we're going to be getting it on the dyno and seeing just how much power it makes. As mentioned in my previous video, the engine that was in here uh, when it was turboed by myself and my brother on the drive had basically begun to torn itself apart. We never actually messed with the timing of the engine, but we don't know why that happened. We believe it may be oil starvation, but essentially that engine was uh, done for, it was a dud. I kept the engine that came with this car. One of the attractions to this car originally was that it had full service history. And the engine, when I drove it for a brief period of about a month, when it was naturally aspirated, was actually really strong. It pulled really well. There was no real issues there. So it was a pretty sure bet. That engine went in. Ashley at ANA Fabrication turbocharged that engine with my existing Engine Dynamics Low Boost Kit. And there we have it, a really nice to drive, good car but there was one thing that was missing and that was a map adjustment i asked ashley at ana fabrication where should i take it in the southeast and really there was no other place than engine dynamics andy at engine dynamics is incredibly experienced with mapping these cars and uh, adjusting or fitting these turbo kits to these 172s as well as a load of other clios anything clio or renault essentially he's pretty much the pro at and he's the guy to take it to so i headed up to braintree which is where engine dynamics are based and we got this car on the dyno so whilst we're here i thought i'd actually film this because this is pretty cool this is not something you get to see they've always got this on display here at engine dynamics it's actually the f4r engine same engine that's in my uh same lump, same block, same bottom end, everything identical to what is in my 172 cup. But the advantage here is you get to see this bit, all the shiny bits. So you've got your, uh, make sure I get this right, turbocharger, your wastegate, uh, log manifold at the back here, all the studs done up nicely. It's very cool to see actually. Um, don't often get to see this in this form. It's all tucked behind the engine very nicely. So yeah. There we have it, if um, anyone's wondering what was there. So here we are then, finally, on the dyno. So Andy, who kindly let me film, agreed that he would do what mattered first, which was to get the numbers, and then later I'd come in and film, which is what you see here. So we did one run with the fans on to try and get the numbers on camera. Unfortunately, because of heat soak, that wasn't quite possible. So we were slightly down on power, which Andy later explains. And then the final run that you see here is with the fans off, just to capture the noise, and we even get a little pop at the end. where I think the blue was where I finished up a minute ago what mm. I showed you yeah but where it's hot as well the boost is slightly lower mm. okay because um, obviously the charge air temp and stuff and that's why we're not we didn't make the power in those two months so, but, uh, but we're splitting you know, I mean, as I said it's about 10 horsepower is a bit cooler this so. nice so the numbers then how much power did it actually make my previous car made 235 horsepower and 235 pound feet this engine made 243 horsepower 230 pound feet and now it drives brilliantly as i said before i'm not overly bothered about numbers they don't really mean a lot it's more about how that performs on the road and now that that's been mapped and it's been tweaked it drives better than it ever has done in fact it's better than the previous car, obviously. I've been reliably told by Andy that this engine is incredibly healthy, which is great. And that just means that for the future, all I've got to do is look after it, let it warm up before I thrash it, uh, which it will be getting a lot of, regular oil changes, servicing, and just generally caring, having a bit of mechanical sympathy, if you like, for the car. And that should mean that this lasts for some time yet. 
But of course, there's no point of me standing here for ages and just talking about the car and pointing at it. Let's get in it and take it for a drive. So here we are then, behind the wheel, the cup, now that it's been mapped. And what a difference it makes to the car. Whereas before it was a bit of a slouch and even though it went well, eventually it would spool up. The car is now just so eager to get going in any gear. So first off, we had the engine in here that wasn't that great. It, it ran okay, but it had a lumpy idle and an oil leak at the top. And it was, well, it, tra it transpires that the engine was absolutely shot. So we needed a new engine. This is the engine that came in the car. As soon as it had been turbocharged again by Ashley a a Fabrication, instantly I felt a difference. The car drove nicer, the idle was smooth, unlike before where it was lumpy. And now that it's finally gone to Andy at Engine Dynamics, who's done the final touch, if you like, the, the final map, it's just, it is a completely different car to drive. It just needs a few tweaks, but it's seriously, it's, <laughs> you forget to smile because I'll be honest, it's actually fairly terrifying. I've driven cars with more power than this that do not feel this terrifying to drive. I don't know what it is about this car. It's like a it's like a balance between both being fun and exciting, but also at the cusp of being almost slightly terrifying. I think that's just the warmth of the car. You feel a lot more through the wheel, and that's both reassuring, thrilling, and Brakes need an improvement, I know that much. We definitely need to improve the brakes, but seriously, just yeah, it's <laughs> seriously quick. Oh dear, could have some fun in this. In fact, we did, we did have some fun. Me and the OEM Plus guys, uh, I'll put some clips in here actually, you can have a little look. But we had a little meet recently, which was really good. Uh, that was up at Beachy Head, early morning drive, quiet roads, just uh, cars, coffee, and just sharing our passion for cars really we're going to do a few more in the future so if any of you guys watch from the uh, southeast of england then feel free to pop along i'll uh, put up a date on my instagram next when we're going and yeah it'll be good for people to join anyway guys i hope you've enjoyed this video i've got loads more updates planned for this i'm gonna hopefully do um a break kind of a brake pad upgrade soon the Brem we got the Brembo McGann 225 calipers at the front they're okay but the pads themselves are shocking so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do a video on how I keep care like keep, keep my car clean take care of it and then also I'm gonna do a 0 to 60 video on this car recognizing that yes it's a front-wheel drive car but just out of curiosity and at the mercy of my clutch we're going to give it a go and just see how quick we can get this thing to 60. anything below six and a half seconds i'd be shocked but yeah we'll we'll, uh, we'll give it a go so yeah if you like this video make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos coming soon and thanks for watching cheers